Okay, here we are at the Career Bridge Webcast Center, and I'd like to show you the webcast room, and then we're going to take a tour of the building. This is the actual fabulous lab that we have for the Career Bridge webcast of the Cotisil Conference. Uh, the godfather himself, Jeff Lebo, founder of Career Bridge and Busan Web. Sarah, current manager, the back of Sarah's head. And Rob, all working in the Career Bridge headquarters for the Cotisil Conference. And there you can see our beautiful hippo, who is our mascot, thanks to Sarah. The Career Bridge hippo. Heading out into the hallway, where you may have seen us webcasting live earlier, um, we have the Seoul Institute of so sorry the Seoul Education Institute uh, Education and Training Institute building, and this is a great setup for any sort of conference, particularly for the kind of work that we're doing here. Um, this is the area where the teachers can gather and see. The textbooks, we have a variety of publishers who are hawking their wares out here. Um, many, many books to choose from, some of which are elementary, some of which are university level. One of the strengths of the conference is that it tries to cater to teachers of all levels of English. So you will see books ranging from the kids' books to the university level books. And we have many colorful displays. It's all interesting. Um, enjoy watching some of the uh, people who work for one company, checking out the wares of other companies, keeping on top of the competition. And most of the participants are currently still in the opening ceremonies. Uh, the opening ceremonies are going on right now in the auditorium, and let's head outside and take a look. Um, you can see the the bars that lead you in, rather elegant, and going out into the sunshine of an almost not smoggy soul day, and down the stairs. Here we are at the Soul Education Training Institute. Now, behind me, this is a shot of the building where most of the conference is taking place. You can see the pre-registration sign on the right, the on-site registration station, and moving down the stairs past the marigolds, I think those are marigolds, we lead towards the auditorium. Some participants either heading in or heading back, we're not sure. People coming to the conference, welcome. And past the rather interesting fountain design, we lead towards the auditorium where the opening ceremonies are taking place. Stretched out ahead in the sun, on the right, we have one already exhausted conference goer taking a brief nap in the October sunshine. I don't suppose she wants to be interviewed. Perhaps we'll leave her alone. And straight ahead is where we expect some of the folks to be departing the opening ceremonies relatively shortly. The Cotisol conference uh, actually began at 9. However, some of the sessions uh, opened before the actual opening ceremonies. And coming in the door, we have. Hello, volunteers! My name is Bonnie. I'm with the webcast. Uh, and I'm wondering where the opening ceremonies are. Through there? Thanks very much. How long have you been volunteering with Cotiso? Just today. Just today? And yeah. will you be going to any of the conference sessions? 
I hope so. I hope so. Anyone you are looking forward to? Uh, no. <laughs> Any of them? No. Okay. Ah, you'd like to see David Sperling? Yes. Yeah, actually, so would I. He's one of the, the famous people in ESL, yes. so that would be very interesting. Thank you both very much. I'll go this way. Well, there's people coming out. Perhaps we are almost finished. And coming into the one room on this campus which is not web linked at the top of the stairs we have Dave Gorilla Reporter and here we go opening ceremonies with Eugene from Daygen. Uh, Eugene, welcome to the Cotisol Conference. How are you doing? Uh, okay, I guess. Uh, I'm a presenter here, and uh, I've just been uh, spending some time getting lost in the building. There's uh, plenty of helpful people in there, but they, for the second Cotisol meeting in a row, I've been told that I need to prove that I paid my fee, and uh, then I was told, along with my co-presenter, that we had to go make a copy uh, on the fifth floor of, of of the building. The problem is the fifth floor doesn't exist on most of the 
building except over in this corner, which is almost like an annex building. And uh, and uh, we went up to the fifth floor, and the entire fifth floor was closed. It And uh, the place where we actually had to make a copy was on the fourth floor in an office that was locked. And so we had to go over to someone else and ask them kindly. It, it was an occupied office at the time, and ask them if they would kindly let us make a copy. And then go back down. Uh, I, does that cover how I'm doing at the moment? <laughs> yeah, the course of true presentations never do run smooth. Eugene, how long have you been involved with Cotisol? Uh, this is about my second or third year. This is the second year I've made presentations, but I think I've been involved for three years. Yeah. And can you tell me about your presentation today and when and where it's happening? I, I don't know exactly yet where it is, but my but our first presentation is today at two o'clock, and it's a children's literature for low-level adults, and it's an hour presentation about what, uh, how both of us, my co-presenter and I, have used uh, uh, children's literature in our various conversation, grammar, reading classes, and how uh, you can adapt it, and what books we've used. So we're actually planning to give out a book list for you know teachers who are poor like us and uh, don't have a lot of money to buy books. <laughs> we approve of that kind of thing. Um, Eugene, thanks very much for talking to us. So, here we are after a great lunch. We are back at the book center for the Cotisol conference and people are going to soon begin going to the afternoon sessions. One session has already begun just at 1.30 and we are moving towards the Dave Sperling session at 2 o'clock. Um, so people are checking out textbooks and filing in to look at different things. By now, most of the teachers and people present have gotten their packages and have been able to choose. Uh, if you notice the great maps in that guy's backpack, uh, everybody who is a participant in the conference gets a large laminated map, and uh, I'm looking forward to having it. So here we are with a professor from Hanam University in Daejeon. And what did you come up to, t to hear today? Which sessions are you planning on attending today? Um, I'm very interested in storytelling and the phonics. So you know, it starts from uh, it starts at three o'clock. So yeah, I'm very in yeah, it's expecting those uh, topics. And if there's anything that you miss that you still want to see, you can always check it out on Career Bridge later on. Okay. No. It, um, oh, do, I just you know, attend today. You know, tomorrow I have another plan, so I cannot. So, are you a member of Cotiso? Actually, not. I'm not. No, I'm not a member. But uh, yeah, but you know, uh, I from I um, maybe I will be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. And here we are at the Asian Youth Forum desk or counter at the conference and we have a variety of participants, uh, people who are here representing the Asian Youth Forum and uh, we're going to speak with them for a moment. Hi, can you tell us a little bit about the Asian Youth Forum? We're with Korea Bridge. It's a forum which was started to gather youth from all over Asia so that they can communicate about the cultures, languages, problems youth are facing and to make a world a better place to live in. So it's the fourth Asian Youth AYAFN which will be held in Russia. Hi, that's in Vladivostok next year. Ah, okay, are you planning on attending that as well? or? Excellent. And where are you from? I'm from India. First time in Korea? I've been here for the past two years. I'm a student here, so I'm standing here. Thank you very much. And yourself? No, no, don't talk to me. I'm shy. All right. Thank you very much. Hi. I just I wanted to find out some more information about the Asian Youth Forum. You're selling T-shirts with your Vladivostok. Uh, I gather these are for fundraising. Yes. Oh, okay. How many people are you hoping to bring to the Asian Youth Forum in 2004? as many as students uh, coming next year held in Vladivostok uh, but we are not sure how many people how many students are coming so we're just hoping as many as students are coming 
Yes. And do you have uh, advisors as well as students? Advisor? Uh, or teachers? Um, I only know coordinators from Japan, um, teaching in, um, from Japan and from Korea and from Taiwan as well. Uh, but I don't know about teachers. Have you been able to participate in any of the conference activities today? Or? I participated last year and in Taiwan. It was great. I hope that um, many students, many more students um, can join and come and participate in the event and talk about the global issues and have discussions and debate. It was great. Thank you very much. We have Todd here. Todd was in, uh, which sessions did you attend today, Todd? I attended the Dave Sperling session, and I thought it was pretty good. He did pretty well without the uh, PowerPoint. It wasn't working, but uh, he winged it pretty well. And <laughs> Overall impressions of the conference thus far? Are you having a good time? I'm having a good time. Uh, frankly, I, I've skipped a lot of sessions because uh, I... I find the publishers' tables and networking to be higher priority, so I'm getting a lot of that done. Yeah. Thank you. Here. <laughs> this is the person who tried. <laughs> Hi, Peter. Um, can you tell me what sessions you participated in today? I have participated in none. I've been running the employment center and helping get people, helping people get jobs. Apologies. <laughs> no problems. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit more about helping people get jobs? Well, Cotisal as a service runs an employment center in which we send out letters to um, about 500 university departments, inviting them to the conference and inviting them to send a representative for interviews. We then in turn post the information over the internet and people without work or people wanting different work come to the conference, come to the interview center and meet the potential employers. Thank you very much.